Harrison, um, a titanic struggle here against Casper Celtic. It, it wasn't to be, but um, it was a battle all the way through, and he gave it everything out there. Yeah, I agree with that. I think, um, listen, Celtic came out and they battled hard as well, and we gave them a good battle, but they just came out on top, and it's unfortunately won today, but that's how it is, and we go playing them again next week here as well, so we have to look forward to that. And the goal winner for Celtic was an absolute screamer, um, worthy to win any semi-final. If you got that opportunity yourself, you'd be, you would have been delighted to take it. Oh, of course, yeah, I had a good angle of a day, but you can't fault that, it's no one's fault. It's just great strike and it's great hit, so you just can't be, can't have anyone to blame for that. But when you look at your own game, we, we gave it everything, we had our chances. Um, Celtic had their chances, but overall Celtic were really intense. We were as intense as we could, but um, they gave us um, very little time on the ball over the, the 110 minutes. Yeah, I'd say that. Um, they were very experienced players. There's a lot of players there that were there for years and were only young lads, so they know how to go in for a challenge and everything. So, um, But yeah, more experience, I think, was the issue. So. And of course, it's back here again next Sunday. I know the lads are hurting in the dressing room right now, but I say they'll pick themselves up, they know what to expect, and I'm sure they'll be lost strong for it and give Celtic a, a good game again next Sunday morning. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You just have to get over it, back to training next week, and we'll go again then next, the next Sunday against Celtic again. Thank you very much. Cheers, Kenny. Michael, have to say it was an enthralling Cup semi final. The, the ball didn't quite go our direction for the first time this season but all credit to the lads they gave it everything against the Celtic side that was very intense over the 110 minutes yeah uh, I, uh, congratulations to Castlebar uh, to Celtic um, I thought our lads battled as, har as, as hard as they could um, it was an unusual game we had chances to win it they had some chances uh, they got the goals. They got a they got a goal probably worthy of winning a semi final. An absolutely fantastic strike. Um, difficult to know what to say. The ground certainly the ground conditions didn't help us at all. Oh my God, it's so extremely heavy and sodden here, and it doesn't really suit our passing game. But credit to Castlebar Celtic, they got stuck in. Um, they won a lot of 50-50 tackles and tried to disrupt us. And their game plan worked. Uh, they went long. They didn't really bother too much about playing the ball on the ground they went long quite a lot they got the ball out of the danger area and it was up to us to carry the game to them we tried but we didn't get the goals and of course this is Alan Kerr for the younger lads really it gives them that that sort of experience they haven't really experienced really too much um losing a tie contest yeah that's uh, that's our first defeat in 17 games uh we had our seven, yeah 18 games is it I think we had we had won 16 games and drawn one before this so it's our first defeat in probably a year and a half so it's a great test for them now. We have to come back here onto this ground next Sunday and play in the league. And um, we'll have to think about it during the week and we'll see what we can bring next Sunday. And I'm sure after today and coming back here again next Sunday morning, I think that I will be, we'll really understand after coming away with the, the extra time loss, a great goal to finish it off, that, um, that they'll be thinking to themselves, let's get back here and let's um, do our own job and try to um, show us who's boss. Yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd tell any young fella if he falls off a bike, get up on the bike again and go for a cycle. So after a defeat, we'll come back here again next Sunday in the league. And I think, um, I think it'll be a great test for them. And we'll, let's see how that goes. Thank you very much. Thanks. Creveen. Um, Ballyhane this afternoon, this morning slash afternoon, cup game. Um, might have lost in penalties, but really, really um, put up to, to them. What's your thoughts yourself? Yeah, it was a decent game in tough conditions. We thought we did well. We the ball and we threw it and we goofed it when we needed to. But we changed that really to go either way and come out for our side today. I'll do it again next week and we'll try and get back to that. And it was a game today that really needed, needed characters. A uh, squelchy pitch, um, heavy showers, cold weather. That's we really, that's we really need a, a lot of character along with uh, finesse, and it showed. 
throughout the game we defended very well, very disciplined and kept Ballyhane out throughout. Yeah, we kept our shape now. We were solid enough in the back and defensively very well and we broke the counter but it just wasn't good enough in the end. Losing a cup in the final is disappointing enough. But penalties are a lot, we really, you win some, you lose some. Can't really fault anyone for missing penalties because at the end of the day, um, they're putting their, they're put their names forward, they volunteer to take them, and it's no easy task. And looking forward to next Sunday, same opposition again at United Park at 2 p.m. And I'm sure you'll be looking to um, set your stall up and hopefully um, get your get your get your points against them next Sunday. Thank you very much. So a difficult race to lose the game, but overall throughout the 90 minutes and extra time, we defended very well and showed a lot of discipline throughout the game. Yeah, it was a tough game. It was a battle for both teams. You know, we showed a great character in our battle and the pitch was difficult to play for both teams. But uh, how we could have nicked it, should have won it on the last kick of the game, but we didn't go in. Um, as you said, penalty kicks are lottery, so someone has to miss and lose. And of course, over the, the whole game, really, chances were really at a premium for both teams. There were so few clear cut chances overall. Yeah, well, they had one or two chances the first half, they just clipped the crossbar with a shot. And we had two great chances. Jesper had a great chance, and Dan had a great chance to win it at the end. But, you know, a, a draw would have probably a fair result, but we could have won it. And it sets up nicely for next week, back in the league again. Same two teams at United Park. And it should be an intriguing game if today was Allerton to go by. Yeah, uh, the end doing very well at the top of the table. You know, it's a league game next week and hopefully we'll get in another battle next week as well. And even looking further ahead, um, parking both the league and this competition being over and done with. The FBI Junior Cup, um, home to Claire Morris in a couple of weeks after a couple of weeks' time. That should be an an interesting game. We beat them 3 0 a few weeks ago up there. But it'll certainly be no easy tie. No, uh, Junior Cup is a massive competition, you know, and everyone has to do well in it. And once you get a home draw, no matter who you're playing against, you, you still want to win it, you know. And I was speaking to Claire Morris a, f a few weeks ago, doesn't, doesn't say we want to beat them at home. You know, it's going to be another game we've played. But um, we'll be picking everyone up again. Great to see Peter Corkin back in his first game in a year. Yeah, Peter, uh, Peter knew that we were tight for players this, this weekend and uh, asked him would he come in and he, he, he was available for the win so he done well, he got a good half hour as well. So it would be a great addition to, to the squad. Back. And training this week will, I'm sure will be um, interesting and focused on the week ahead. Yeah, all we think any is play one game at a time, but clear for one game at a time. You know? we can't, can't be looking too far ahead of ourselves in any game, so we just prepare for, for uh, Valley Hand next week. Thank you very much. All right.